Hello and welcome. I'm Stunlock, and this is The Suicide of Rachel Foster. As always, if you want to know more about the game, you can check the description. I'll have all the relevant information there. Uh, I've actually owned this game for quite a while and still have not played it, so this is a perfect time. I'll start with saying what I do know. You are in a giant hotel that your family owned for some reason. You're the only person there, I think. And you're discovering details about the suicide of Rachel Foster. I'm not sure how that person is related to you, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, let's get started. My dear Nicole. Let me see. What should I be reading here? Face with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. Okay, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read the letter. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. You've been through a lot, and I know things weren't always haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at the high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father. But now, I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Alright. Oh, so I have control. Okay. Is this a funeral? At night? The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. Okay, my father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. I can only trust my mother, I guess. I was there. I've always been there. When you dis when you dislocated your shoulder at the first game and you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985 or you marched against abortion in your first year at college probably the second I've always admired your courage and obstinacy they are the secrets of all the achievements that you sw sweated over never distracted by s silly trifles, futility, or fairy tales. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Okay, so Dad had an affair. That's who Rachel Foster is. She committed suicide. I guess we're gonna find out why. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say, sell our hotel. The hotel is, in my, family, is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins. I don't get that part. To give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be long gone. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. Give the rest to the girl and family. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, 
I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. So this must be the mother's funeral. You actually have to like push your way through. This is Helena National Forest in Montana. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? She say 42 inches of snow in one night. Smell. Here we go. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Bombs VW. This looks like seventies. I was wondering if we can go inside, but I guess we can't. What is this? Oh, a level. Okay. All right, just gonna take a little look around. I wonder if you get a flashlight in this game. I'm gonna turn the brightness up a little bit. Yeah, it's a little better. I can see fine, but I think sometimes when you're recording, it doesn't look so good. All right, so I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm gonna look around a little bit. So I'm going to try to get in. I guess I can't get in that one, so let's try to get in this one. Wait, no, this looks like the entrance. It says locker room, though. This one's open. Leonard is the father. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. She's here all by herself. This is so creepy. Actually... Huh? can't open that. Or maybe it's coming from further up. I have nightmares like this. Jesus. It's coming from that way. I just want to look around. Can't open any of these doors yet, I guess. A 
Okay, so this is the front desk. Gotcha. Is it one of these? I can't tell where it's coming from. Alright, I think it's coming from over here. L2 to zoom. Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. So I guess this is her father's stuff. Not the NASA cup. I wonder if I'm supposed to find anything in particular as I'm looking around. Yeah, it says dad's office. All right, so where are we going again? We have to... Mr. Jenkins said he left the management key in the master suite. Master suite. All right, that's the first, that's the ground floor or the garage. This is where we are. We just walked out of the offices. Okay, and then so we have to go upstairs. All right, I see where the master suite is. Alright, so I think I know where we're going. If we go up the stairs. Wow, this this design is really good though. Go up one more. One of these should say Master Suite. Yep, this way. This is running pretty well. Alright. Yeah, this is it right here. Jeez, these, these sounds, like when you're walking, the ambient sounds are really good. glasses are these. Doesn't matter. 
Testament and Jenkins letter. All right. Last will and testament. All right, so this is the father's will. First beneficiary is Nicole Wilson. Okay. And this is the lawyer that we just heard. All right, so the, yeah, this is basically just paperwork that validates her ownership or our ownership of the hotel now. So we have to find the key somewhere in here. What is this? All I, all I recognize is there's, he's saying something about a light bulb. That's about it. Okay. Where would the key be? I thought maybe the, the key should be over here, right? You would think it would be on this table. Parallel universes. I wonder if this game has a, a paranormal element to it. Okay, you can look at every single book in here. That's nuts. So many books you can look at. I think they're probably hints. That's what this game is actually about. All right, let's take a fur let's go further in and see if we can locate the key. Maybe that's, is that supposed to be the character we're playing? Wait, it says music box, but I don't see it. Is, that's not a music box, is it? I guess it is. Sir. She's big time into uh, astronomy. It's a Polaroid. Too bad we can't take that. All right, I don't know how to get in there. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Hmm. <laughs> Floppy disk. Yeah, I forget. This game takes place, what, in the 90s? Here it is. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Strange telephone. I guess it would be strange to her because of the time period. Okay. Jeez, there are so many objects you can look at. All right, so what's next on the agenda? To do list. It just says to-do list. What does that mean?
wait a minute. Is that this phone? Oh wow, this phone is ringing. What is this, a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. My name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... you... Uh... Bye. Yeah, I don't think we're going anywhere. They said 42 inches of snow. That's an insane amount of snow in 42 hours. I think the most I've ever experienced was like 32. And that was, in, that was crazy. All right. So, uh, what are we doing? I guess we're leaving. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. What was that? Oh, okay, it's just these, uh... These things are banging against the building. What the heck? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Obviously, yes. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... Uh, to, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? Oh boy. I have a 1986 Dodge. So I guess we're gonna try to leave? Yep, she wants to leave. Does this take us back down to... Can this take us... Let's see if this can take us where we want to go. Puts us behind the dining room. No. It's, we're better off going back this way. Oh boy. She can't leave in this snow. There's no way. Not even like there's no way to get out of here. A minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. I mean, I totally understand wanting to leave. I would not want to spend the night in a hotel this big by myself. I 
just would not be able to sleep at all. But I think, yeah, it's this way. Let's hop in the dodge. And get out of dodge. First, we have to be able to open this door. This garage door. Which I don't know if we can. I can't press anything. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new... Cell phones, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, fine. We are officially stuck. Yeah, I, I don't know how to open the garage door. I think I already, I guess she has to try to do it manually. How's that gonna work? Just anything over here. I mean, this is the control for it. Oh wait, now you can press it. Of course. Of course. Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, Tevet. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole. I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. What? L let's just forget it. I, I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. All right, so she needs to just accept the fact that we're stuck. Found anything useful? No. No keys. No garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. If I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Famous last uh, words. Later. I can't Famous last I'm words. I'm stuck. Shit. Oh, well. Alright, I think I'm going to stop here. And we will pick this up again tomorrow. So we're doing this and we're doing rain swept. I'll keep us busy for a while. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.